Hey guys, Tony Hannity here from LazyTechGuys.com and we are going to take a look at something we've never looked at before, a smart light bulb. Okay, so this is just the box, but inside is the LifeX or L-I-F-X bulb and originally this was a Kickstarter project back in, I want to say mid-2012. Essentially, he wanted to create a smarter, more energy efficient LED based light bulb, which you could control directly with your smartphone, Android or iOS. And he was hoping to get $100,000 and he actually hit about $1,314,542 in total with over 9,000 backers. So I'm going to stop talking and we're going to go ahead and open this up and see what's inside and see how easy it is to use with pretty much any setup you have with any home. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have a standard light bulb and next up, the LifeX light bulb. It's a little bit bigger, definitely a little bit heavier, but it's very well built and can be plugged into pretty much any light switch. And when you see it in a lamp, you don't notice any difference, except when you really turn up the light. <laughs> um, when you connect it, you could either uh, turn it off and on from the app or from the switch. Here we have the app, the Android app, and a quick demonstration of how to set it up. Really all you need is the light, your phone, and a Wi-Fi network. No separate brain like you do with the Philips Hue. And once connected over Wi-Fi, you have full control over each light bulb or as groups. Now once the app is connected to the light bulbs, you can have different hues and different colors. And this is just showing you all the rainbows of the, all the colors of the rainbow you can choose from. This is green, or you can go all the way pink if you like. And with the color wheel, you can very quickly change it and even change the intensity with the little scroll wheel in the middle. Go all the way from 97 all the way down to, I don't know, even 1%, which would make it either brighter or darker within that color itself. But if you don't want color, you just want a regular light, you also have a white light setting. And then you could have your standard warm light, soft light, you know, something to not so intensive when you wake up in the morning, but you still need a little bit of light so you don't bump into the wall. Now, as you're viewing this, this is on the Android app, but the iOS app has something that the Android app doesn't yet have, which is called the Music Visualizer. So when that is turned on, the light bulb can actually pulsate to the music over Wi-Fi. And so if you had multiple light bulbs pulsating to music, it's actually pretty cool. Now there's a little bit of a delay because it is going over Wi-Fi and it's using the phone or tablet's microphone to listen to the music. But it's definitely a pretty cool and nifty trick once everything is all set up. And as we're using it, I'm ha using the music from my Surface Pro and setting up my iPad with the different um, effects. And this is definitely going to be coming to Android, but right now it's only on iOS through the iOS app. But that's pretty much it. So it pulsates the music. You can turn it off and on from your phone. What do we really think? Yeah, I know. New hairstyle, new shirt and everything. Yeah, so we, this has been going on for about two weeks. We've been using the LifeX light bulb religiously every day, trying to use the phone app instead of going you know, on the wall, turning it off and on from the wall uh, plug. And uh, it was hard at first. It truly was hard at first because it's a culture change. It's a culture shock. We're so used to just walking to the wall. But as forcing myself to use the phone, I started really finding that it was definitely much more handier than taking the time to go over to the wall. I do wish that there was some sort of like widget so you wouldn't have to go into the app and wait for the app to connect to the LifeX over Wi-Fi. I just wish it was a much simpler way to do that, um, but I'm sure the developers are working on that too. Um, but going back to the ease of use, it, it, it took maybe about a week to ease of use into it. And uh, but once I did, you know, once if I were to ever leave the light up on while I was downstairs, like, oh, I forgot to turn it off. I can just 
open up my app and turn it off that way. Or if I want to have it pre-prepared to be on when I go upstairs, the exact converse works. Um, or if I truly f lose my phone or if I just forgot my phone downstairs as I was walking upstairs, you can still turn it off and on manually. They haven't completely negated that. You can still use it just like you did before all of this uh, smart technology even came into play. Um, but it's a great product. It's so simple to use. You just need your phone, a Wi-Fi connection, and the light bulb itself. You can have multiple light bulbs. You can even buy light bulbs from the app itself. They make it so simple. Um, and the app, com uh, comparing to iOS to Android, the iOS app is a little bit more farther along than it is with Android. Android just got Scenes, I believe. Uh, the iOS app still is the only app between the two that has the music visualizer, which is kind of cool. Um, it's a little laggy over Wi-Fi, but in any case, um, I think it's uh, it's kind of a, a seller in that case in that point. It actually sold me when I saw the Kickstarter project. But for what it is, it saves money. It's easy to use. You don't need a brain like you do with the Philips Hue. You can buy as many light bulbs as you like. You can one, three, seven. It doesn't really matter. It actually can be very very good on a day to day basis. You can wake up to a very soft or warm light and, or go to sleep and turn the light off without having to leave your bed. That was the big seller for me. I don't have to get up to turn it off. I can just do it for my, do it for my app. So hopefully um, you guys uh, check it out. Go to lifex.com and uh, I do recommend it. I would recommend buying it. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave that in the section below here or you can hit us up on our general YouTube channel, Lazy Tech TV. LazyTechGuys.com is the website you can find us at or you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, Feed, and App.net. We will talk to you guys later. Take care. Have a good one. Peace. Lazy, lazy.